Welcome back my weebs, it's Otaku no Fuji with a unique video today. I'm going to do anime recommendations because you know every, oh geez it's about six times a year at Xbox has anime month. It used to be like once a year, now it's like five or six times a year. But they have anime month where they put games and anime movies and anime TV series on sale for five dollars a season for anime which is you know exceedingly good it's only viz or aniplex or funimation crunchyroll stuff so the high dive you know sentai filmwork stuff isn't ever on sale it's not even on here there's still a thousand shows just from like crunchyroll and funimation uh so i'm gonna go through and tell you what i think you should buy what you should watch uh anyway At attack on titan uh i think it's one of the worst things that i've ever watched you can get it if you want I think it's pretty bad. One Punch Man, it's totally worth it. The first season is amazing. The second season is kind of stinky. You can, you can just buy the first season of One Punch Man. That'd be enough. I've, I've watched a lot of Isekai. At first I hated Isekai, and now I'm all like, ah, it's fine. Like this show, a playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life. It's weird because he wants to play the game like in a completely stupid opposite way that everybody else plays. But of course he's really successful. You know, kind of like Bofuri is the same concept. It, it's alright. Aharen-san is really funny. It's about this girl that's a low talker. But she's really cute and really sweet. If you're into slice of life stuff, definitely give Aharen-san a, a shot. Astra Lost in Space is a surprisingly good sci-fi show about this class of, of kids from a high school that they, you know, they take a field trip out into space, but they got intentionally abandoned out there. And they have to, they find a spaceship and they have to make their way back home across, like, light years. It's it's really cool. It, it's way better than I expected it to be. Yamada's first time is, it's a slice of life romantic comedy about a girl that wants to bang a hundred dudes. But it's not that gross. It's actually really realistic and sweet. Because she's not actually that big of a hoe. <laughs> Bamboo Blade is a really fun show about Kendo. It's got cute girls and it's funny. Beast Tamer is surprisingly good too. It's a fantasy medieval world where this guy, he's a beast tamer and everybody thinks that he sucks, but he has like crazy abilities that he can tame monsters that nobody else can, including like legendary creatures like dragons and cat girls and fairies and stuff. It's really fun. It's got lots of cute girls. You know, and of course, Bofuri is super fun. About a girl that just wants to raise her defense and not actually attack anything. But in raising her defense, she gets super powerful and kicks everybody's butt anyway. It's awesome. Chio's School Road is one of the funniest anime ever. It's, it's a slice of life about a girl and her friends that walk to school. But it's the funniest show. It's highly recommended. Data Live seems like a show that I should like because it's just nothing but cute waifus. But it's... Such a stupid show. I, I got really bored after like the first season and then they just kept making more. I don't think I recommend it. Uh, Demon Lord Retry is another isekai. About a, he was a game maker, like a game developer who ended up in one of the games that he made. But playing as a character from a different game. <laughs> so he's like a mafia boss, but he's back in medieval fantasy land. But he has all sorts of, you know, overpowered, you know, main character powers. But it's it's really funny. It's got lots of cute girls. Free Ren is one of the best shows ever. Free Ren Beyond Journey's End. It's a medieval fantasy about this party of heroes that go and they kill the Demon King. But this show is after that, where this elf... Freerin, who, you know, she can live basically forever, but all of her human companions, they all, you know, they get old and die. And she sort of regrets that she didn't spend more time with them. So she makes a new party and basically retraces the steps of the hero's party that killed the Demon King. It's really good. Like, it's crazy good. I highly, highly recommend it. This full dive, the, the ultimate next gen RPG is even shittier than real life. Uh, it's a you know, VR game where it's terrible, and this dude, the first thing he does is he accidentally kills an NPC, <laughs> and then he's like a wanted murderer for the whole rest of the game, and he has a really bad time, but he keeps playing it for some reason. Then the reason why he plays it is because a 
big booby girl at a game shop tells him to play it and she goes into the game world with him and tries to help him like it, it's really funny and there's cute girls uh heaven's lost property if you've never watched it is super fun it's about big booby angel waifus that come down to a little weird perverted like potato goblin boy <laughs> it's really funny it's it's definitely one of those kind of 2010 type shows where the fan service was crazy over the top and it was all pervy but i like that hokkaido gals are super adorable is super duper fun it's about a kid that moves up to or a guy that moves up to hokkaido and goes to high school and the first person he meets is this awesome hot gal gyaru it's a really fun show except the voice the english voice for the main character girl is the same as chio's school road and it's weird hearing that voice come out of a hot girl i shall survive using potions it's another isekai where this girl this office lady who she she gets accidentally killed and goes to this world and she just wants the power to make any potion and and any container for the potion so she gets really creative with how she with the containers so she starts making really like elaborate crazy stuff by the end but because it can hold a potion inside of it it's like oh it counts it, it's a fun show i like it uh, this is kemomo michi it's a it's an isekai about a pro wrestler that gets summoned to this world to be a hero but all he wants to do is like find animals and monsters and stuff and raise them as pets is really really funny because anytime anybody talks bad about animals or hurting animals or something he just goes and does wrestling moves on them it's freaking hilarious oh and there's cute girls uh, love after world domination is a it's like a sentai superhero show about a team of good guys and a team of bad guys but the strongest one on each of those teams fall in love with each other it's really funny it's really like the the girl the the girl is actually the the strongest of the bad guys she's really cute and she's so sweet and their love story is so real and relatable despite the fact that they're in a constant battle of fighting against each other more than a married couple but not lovers is a weird slice of life romantic comedy show about for some reason this high school part of their graduation requirement is that they make teenagers live together like their husband and wife which yeah that sounds like a weird setup that would only lead to terrible bad things but you know in this anime world it's fine but this normal geeky guy gets paired up with a hot gal and he tries to keep his distance but the gal basically falls in love with him it's complicated it's it's all right it's pretty cute there's hot girls mr osamatsu san is one of the funniest shows ever they only have the english dub on here which kind of sucks it's it's not nearly as good as the japanese voices because a lot of the jokes and a lot of the character reactions and things just don't really work in english but i mean you get used to it i guess i should mention that almost all of these shows i watch in english if it's available because i am not one of those subs versus dubs people i think that's the dumbest argument ever this is my dress up darling this might be my favorite anime ever like like it, it's up there fighting with beck mongolian chop squad but it's about a normal weird guy that makes clothes for dolls and this super hot girl that wants to do cosplay so she has him make costumes for her and of course they end up falling in love it's the sweetest best show ever and the girl marin kitagawa is the ultimate waifu she's so perfect <laughs> not just because she's hot but because her personality is amazing she is so great my roommate is a cat is kind of a weird show to recommend because it's it's sort of funny but like if you like cats if you like uh, comedy if you like slice of life stuff it's so good the first half of every episode is like the guy's perspective of what's going on and then the second half is the cat's perspective the experienced you and the inexperienced me is about a gal who's like the sluttiest slut that ever slutted she actually is and this normal normal guy asks her out and the first day she takes him back to her apartment and is going to have sex with him but he's like no i'm a nerd we can't do that so the rest of the show is the girl 
basically realizing that even though she's like super experienced sexually she's never been in a real relationship and of course the nerdy guy has never been in a real relationship either so it's them both kind of like having a real relationship for the first time it's really good it like it starts off gross but by the end it's pretty good the only problem is that they're the other characters are horrible because there are other girls in the show that also have weird preconceived notions of what relationships are and what they're supposed to be. And those other characters are horrible. The main girl is awesome, but her friends are horrible. But if you can stomach that, like it's a pretty fun show. I would talk about ReZero, except it and Attack on Titan are two of the worst things that I've ever watched in my entire life. These shows are putrid garbage. ReZero sucks because the main character sucks and is literally the worst. He sucks so bad. <laughs> I hate ReZero. Don't buy that. Don't watch it. Don't even think about it. Reborn as a vending machine is the dumbest concept ever, but it's really funny and it's actually really clever. It's another isekai where they get reborn as a vending machine that can basically vend anything. So he helps this medieval fantasy world by vending them whatever they need. <laughs> it's the dumbest concept ever, but it's really funny. And once you sort of just accept that it's dumb, you can have a lot of fun with the show. Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle is another one of those shows that is just one of the funniest things you'll ever watch. It's about a princess that gets kidnapped by the demons and she lives in the Demon Lord Castle. But they're not actually bad. They're not mean to her. She's happy because she doesn't want to really do her princess duties anymore, so she just wants to sleep all day. But her bed that they give her isn't good enough, so she breaks out of the prison and goes and like attacks the demons and steals their stuff to make a new bed and sheets and blankets and pillows and like she's she's more brutal to them than they are to her. And it's hilarious. Like I totally recommend it. Wandering Witch Elena it's sort of like Free Ren in that it's a medieval fantasy type world, but it doesn't really follow the same path. But in this one, uh, Elena is a witch who just travels around the world. There's a surprising number of times where she knows something bad is happening or going to happen. And unlike every other anime, she doesn't immediately go and save the day. Most of the time, she's just all like, yeah, that's not my problem. Yeah, this will only end badly for me. Yeah, this is not my responsibility and she just leaves it. Like it, It's a fresh twist on that typical medieval fantasy hero anime. My last recommendation is Zombieland Saga. It's a show about the, the prefecture of Saga in Japan. It's basically, you know, culturally and socially, it's sort of dying off. And this guy brings back all of these idols and singers and performers and stuff as zombies and turns them into idols. They have to wear makeup and stuff so that they can, you know, perform and bring more attention to Saga and revitalize Saga. It's two seasons and it's awesome. They're sort of gradually learning how to work together and become idols and make their own music and do their own things. And the the end of the second season is one of the most well-earned great final episodes of any anime I've ever seen. Like it's such a huge moment that is so earned like you're so happy that everything comes together the way that it does zombie land saga is awesome i highly highly recommend it they, they sort of leave it as a cliffhanger that there might be more like another season but i i would be totally satisfied if they just ended it there but that is my recommendations for what you should check out during microsoft's anime month that they have about six times a year the shows are all like $5 a season or less. Uh, there's a lot of shows to choose from. I'm just giving you some recommendations. But this was Otaku no Fuji. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out otakunofuji.com. Please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time.